Hello everybody, Llama King here with another video for you. I got a little treat. I'm gonna show you what I like to do uh, when I'm bored. Uh, it's unfortunate for uh, the people that are out there, but it's part of the game. It's fun. I'm low on relocators, so I don't really want to re uh, relocate to a hive and burn the whole hive, which I will do several of those videos. But I'm going to do what I like to call random burning, where I just grab a ri oh, like those VIP points. Yeah, I like to random pour it. Look, 94 of them, and wherever I end up. I burn whoever's around me. Look at that. Boom. Love it. Uh, so what you want to do is attack before they shield. Hopefully they didn't see me pour it in right before I open that rally. And make sure that they are not allied with anybody that you're allied with or allied with one of your enemies who will come and burn you while you're burning them. So always take a look at the dip board or the diplomacy board. Uh, these guys only have 10 members, they're Lithuanian, think I'm safe. Uh, but because I know some of the builds, LT2, uh, I don't know what that is, O period O, SMS, I know I can attack those guys, no problem, and here we go. I know I'm huge and these guys are small, but hey, it's part of the game. If it was the other way around, they'd burn me, guaranteed. Now, this is a awesome tip I'm going to give you. When you use it and don't lose any of your T3 troops, you can think of Llama King and say, thank you. If you don't know about meat shields, I'm going to tell you real quick, real simple. You just saw me pick my troops. I just randomly just, you know, some Royal Guards, some snipers, some Royal Cow. I try to keep them even. See, 42, 42, 47. Throw in some trebs there for the wall. But don't forget, your troops, especially calves, will damage the wall a lot. And on small attacks, I do not send my heroes, there's no need. And the grunts, that's your meat shield. They are cheap, if they die, who cares? The ones that get wounded um, heal instantly. Uh, and all you do is, on small attacks, I don't really care how many I throw in, I just throw in a handful, like there, boom, 24,000, I still got some room, and I'll finish them off with, say, some snipers, because I have the Comet Fort, the Comet Fort gives my snipers a nice little health and defense buff, so I got 200,000 troops full there, I got my meat shields of my grunts, ready to attack, bang, and as you know, this uh, <laughs> kingdom is glitchy, so... It just kind of ports you wherever it feels like it. There we go. And you can't, look at that, can't even see your troops marching. I bet you all have had this experience in this kingdom. So what I do is I go like this, and then I reload it, and it kind of refreshes, and now I can see my troops. See, there we go, a little trick. Oh, look at, he's coming back. Look at that. Now here's what we're gonna try to do. We're gonna try and time our attack for when his troops just land in his castle. That way he has no time to shelter. I know it's a dick move, but it's the game, okay? So this is going to be a little fun here. So I don't too much time. I can probably march there in 10 seconds, and I'm going to march now. Meet shields. Bam. Can't see. I think, I'm, I, think I left too early. My guy, My troops are fast. Let's see. Come on. Hop in there. Pop in before the fire. Oh! Did we get him? <laughs> Where's the fire? What happened? There we go. Alright, let's check the report. Did we get him? 188,000 gold. That's nice. And... Oh. Oh. Oh, we got him! See what I mean? Dude, I'm sorry, but... Ugh. You didn't lose too many troops to death. You can heal most of them. Hopefully they were just... Uh, yeah, I just lost Grunt. See? See? That's all I lost. Yeah, I had a few wounded stealth snipers, but all I lost was Grunts. That's it. You're only your Grunts will die as long as you have enough in there. Rule of thumb. 
is like on large attacks and whatnot, you send 40% grunts. And as long as you send 40% grunts, so if you have 200,000 troops, 40% of 200,000 troops is 80,000 grunts. But I know that kind of sounds weird, but the thing is, if you send 80,000 grunts and 120,000 T3 troops against a really big castle that might be reinforced or he's got a big massive wall or something and you get annihilated, when you read your report, you'll be happy you sent those 80,000 grunts because you'll see 67,000 of them dead and not one T3 is dead, okay? That's why you put the grunts in. But when you do small attacks like I just did, you can just throw in a handful, 10, 20,000, no worries. Got him too, but I didn't kill any, that's all right. That's another thing, if you don't know. Uh, your kill count, I'm in first right now, because I like attacking, I'm at 22 million kills. Now it says troops killed. That also counts for wounded and traps. So I have killed, wounded, and de war spec, war gear. That way if you run into like some Castle 17s, which that's another th reason why I'm out here uh, burning. I know I have prisoners, but they are all under Castle 17, which means I cannot execute them. Or, or sorry, I can execute them. Or no, I can't execute them. I'm sorry for confusing you. See, they're all going to escape. They, 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 all in 9 minutes, 19 minutes, 1 hour. They're all going to escape. The only way you can execute a prisoner is if they come from a castle 17 or higher. And then there's other buffs and stuff uh, depending on what level that hero is. You'll get better buffs for a level 60 than you will for a level 57, blah 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 blah. Okay? But uh, I want to find at least a couple of castle 17s that have their heroes out because I want my altar buffs in four days or three days actually uh, for Wonder Wars just in case I have to uh, defend myself or my guild or my fort or whatever. Am I still in first? Yes. Bang bang. Sorry daddy. Sorry. One hour left, go ahead. If he beats me, I'll go beat him at one minute before and get my 500 gems. Thank you very much. Back to burning. I'm sorry, I digress. I go all over the place. If I if, if I start explaining something and don't finish and you guys are like, what was he gonna say? Leave a comment. Say, hey llama, you were talking about burning people then you started talking about doing your makeup and your hair again. All right, just say something and I will Smack myself and get back on track. Anyway, here we go. Random burn. Boom. Come on, hive. It's almost like a slot machine. No. Oh, but look. See? Now, okay. Oh, hey, Soapy. She's in my guild. I must be near. Oh, no. She's just out in the middle of nowhere. What are you doing, girl? Okay. Anyway. Oh, hey. Hey, 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 there's a castle 18. What do I say? Profile? Check the board. And they are Portuguese. Pretty sure I'm safe. I don't think the Portuguese are friends with anybody I'm friends with. And if they are, it's easier to ask for forgiveness than it is for permission. I am going to attack. Sorry. Now, you know... I could easily beat him without sending my heroes, but why not? Uh, here's a chance for me to show you. So, I already explained uh, logistics and admin buffs to you. Uh, here we go. Um, big guy, he has infantry uh, and uh, construction boost. That's an admin boost that's always active. That's why he will never be my leader because I want to keep that construction boost. If he becomes my leader and gets taken, I lose that construction boost until I get my hero back. So, I am going to use him because he has, like I said, infantry defense, infantry attack. Bam, I want it. Uh, the trickster, no, he's got nothing. He is a really good admin hero. Research, max energy, energy regeneration, great. Same thing as the witch doll, she's all admin. She has no logistic buffs. Do not put those heroes in your war uh, lineup. They will do nothing for you. Uh, the lore weaver is great. She's got the battle song, the impenetrable defense, and the army attack. Just look at those stats. She's only at blue. 
at legendary, it's just OP, okay? And if you don't know what OP means, it means overpowered. So let's put her in. Oh yeah, you have to click, it's weird. You click their name, you get the stats. You have to click uh, over to the right, the ca cavalry or the 10,000 there. Uh, the bunny, another great one for cavalry, right? It's because I'm gonna be sending cavalry and infantry. Uh, Petite devil, is another good one for ranged. So I'm gonna be using her. And, um, what's his name? Demon Slayer. Come on. I always call him a ninja. I like ninja anyway. We're going to continue to call him the ninja. And if you message me and say, his name is Demon Slayer, douchebag. I know it's Demon Slayer. I like calling him ninja. I'm going to call him ninja. Here we go. Okay. I. You know what? I totally, totally forgot what I was doing. Am I attacking somebody? I don't know. Let me put some troops here and just go like this. And, oh yeah, that castle 17. Here we go. Ready? Let's see my grunts. I got 33,000 grunts. He's not going to have that many troops. That'll be more than enough. And I'm going to speed him up so he doesn't shield because I really want this guy. And because the game is bugged, I'm going to have to go like this. And let's use a 75%. Hopefully he doesn't shield because that would be a waste. And see, look at that. Can't see my troops. Go like this. Reload the game. Hopefully I can see my troops. Where is he? Where are they? Here he is. Oh, there's a 17 right there. Let's talk him too. Two heroes. Come on. Come on. Oh, shit. And uh, I apologize if there's kids watching and I uh, I swear. I'm sorry. Uh, kids shouldn't be watching my videos, I guess. Yeah, I got him. Did I get his hero? Come on. Did I get his hero? I did. Woot. Woot. Oh, that hurts. Look at that. Ouch. That is, uh, that's bad. He does not have enough beds. He wasn't sheltered. He wasn't shielded, obviously. Uh, guys, learn from this, okay? This guy just got zeroed in one attack. I just zeroed this guy. He now has no troops. Well, he does. He has some troops. Uh, he has 52,000 troops left, and let's see what they are. He has got... Look at that. I, I killed and wounded all of his troops, so he has a, f a handful of guards left and 12,000 uh, T2. I took, I, I took out all of his T3s. <laughs> uh, let that be a lesson to you, okay, guys? Shelter, shield all the time. Even if you're shielded, shelter, because you you know, you might go offline, your shield drops, you'll be happy you have uh, your guys in the shelter in case that happens to you. I kind of feel bad. <laughs> Ooh, another one. Come on, people, hide your troops. Wounded, fine, but dead? No, you should never have dead troops. Never. If you have dead troops, that's your fault, not mine. Don't be mad at me. If you played the game right and did what you were supposed to do, you would have zero deaths. So don't blame me. Let's see. Another one! You know what? I should attack this whole freaking hive. I think I might for on my next video. I'm just gonna park myself right by this hive and burn the whole thing. And you guys can uh, see how it's done. And maybe these guys might learn a lesson and I'm gonna get a lot of kills on it. Uh -huh, uh -huh. And I'll get this hero. So, let me just show you here. Now that I have a castle 18 and 17 hero, I will show you the difference, and then we'll call this video done. See, awaits execution. There you go. Two days, two days. So in two days, I can execute these guys. And while I have them in my prison, because I have a level 25 prison, I get an 8% attack boost because uh, my max prisoner level is 44. The higher the level of the prisoner, the higher the boost you get. So if I had a level 60 in here, I'd have like a 30% boost. I'm not sure what it is. Don't quote me on that. Don't send me hate mail. Uh, it's something like that. Maybe even higher. I don't know. But you get the pick. Uh, let me just get some help here because help is very important for your guildies to grow. So when I do kill those... Um, prisoners. Oh, that's the labyrinth. Sorry. I know you, sorry. No, I'm not doing a labyrinth video, guys. Nope. Sorry. I know you love it. I know. Oh, you didn't see that. I didn't have 9,400 stars still. Nope. 
Uh, where is my altar? There we go. Uh, my altar, see, there you go. When I kill a prisoner, I get 38%, 38%, 38% army attack, army defense, army HP, and I get a 21% boost in my travel speed, and it lasts a day per hero. As you can see, I have five days left on that boost, and there's no way it can be taken from you. Uh, you have it permanently until it runs out, or you keep gathering heroes and executing them. You can have this boost permanently. There's no way of debuffing you. Um, so the more heroes you execute, uh, and it doesn't matter what level they are, you get that buff no matter what. It could be a, uh, a level 30 uh, C17 hero, and you'd still get the 38% and 21% travel speed, okay? This video is already long enough. I apologize if I bored the shit out of you, and, but I welcome you if you liked it. As usual, please like and subscribe, because when you do, Llama feels the love, and Llama loves you. You all know that. So give Llama some love, tell your friends, spread it around. Let's make Llama Somewhat of a superstar. There we go. Okay, here we go. And we're done. So don't forget to like and subscribe. Leave me some nice posts. If you uh, feel like saying something mean, don't post. Okay? Okay. So as always, keep calm and llama on. Bye.